Hey guys, so I just decided I've turned the camera off that we're gonna do a version two of this one. Uh, this is my second favorite warm up. It might be tied with my first warm up, favorite warm up, I don't really know. Um, this one is just a simple scale learning exercise. I'm really bad at learning scales. I just, it's something that my brain has a hard time getting over. But this exercise definitely helped me learn how to do scales. So the scale I like to do this one on is the B flat major, just the first scale you learn on the French horn, so starting on F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, that one. So to start, you're gonna, if you can do it, so this also will help you with your range, this scale exercise. So you're not starting on this F. It's not that one, you're starting on the lower one. That one. So that one you can do with first finger F side, or you can do also just with your thumb on the B flat side. If you're playing on an F horn, just a single horn, you're just gonna use the first finger. It's all personal preference there. I like to do this. This blah, blah, blah. I like to do this one um, starting with my finger, just on the regular normal F. So what you do is you do the scale just like this, but then you go back down, and then once you hit the bottom, you start on the G. I'm not a singer. I'm a horn player. So I'm just gonna go through it. Um, there's gonna be mistakes, there's gonna be flubs because I'm just getting back into a normal horn playing routine. So uh, you can live with those with me. <laughs> this is not gonna be perfect. So once you get to that top F, if you're feeling really exciting, uh, you do it going down, but you do it the minor scale. Sorry, there's a bunch of spit in there. I figured I'd just keep playing because you guys would understand. So now we'll just do the whole thing uh, non-stop just so you can get a feel for that. So if you can, grab your horn right now, pause the video, pew, pew, pause. And then, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this together. So you start on the low F and then do the scale and then you're gonna start on that high F and we're gonna go down to doing the minor, okay? One thing you might also wanna try if you're having a hard time uh, with your scales is I like to close my eyes. It just eliminates all the distractions and you can just really concentrate on seeing the scale. Uh, it's, I think it's kind of better to memorize the scales just so you can do them without having to think. So like I said, uh, that was by no means perfect, flawless, uh, but your warm-up doesn't have to be 
perfect, you're warming up. And that's the point of these videos. There's gonna be mistakes, uh, but you're playing through those mistakes in your warm up, in your practice routines, so in your performance, you don't have to make them. So like I said in the last video, leave a comment down below if you want more videos like this. Uh, let me know what else you'd like to see me do. Uh, you can apply this routine to every scale, just like the last exercise, and uh, I hope you guys just get to pick up your horn and play more often. See you guys in the next video.